Yo, what is going on, YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka okay. hey, Drive. Just kidding. Okay, I don't, know. I don't know why I do that. I love that intro. Anyway, what is up, my puffer people? It is I, Kin, your puffer pal. Back with another video, and today, sorry, and today I am bringing guys our week four battle against in the APM. Against Lou Solo Lou, coach of the Hellbent Ferrets. Interesting name, team name. Um, well, yeah, this week four, guys. So far, we are undefeated. And, uh, this is going up a day late. Sorry, me and Lou were, uh, weren't able to battle till the weekend. And then Saturday, there was some stuff he was doing. So then Sunday, we had to battle. But we, we didn't battle until, like... 11 o'clock, so it was, like, pretty late, and I, I couldn't record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the time we were done and I had to, like, do other stuff, it was 11.30, and I was like, I can't record this late. Okay, so Lou has a very threatening name. His first Pokemon is Venomoth. Okay, starting off, this is such a threatening month, because even my Articuno, which technically resists this bug buzz and would be my best switch in, because of Shield Dust, it's not a great switch in, so I do struggle. So this mod is definitely a threat. I do have some good, obviously, special walls in Politoed and Articuno, which could take a hit or two. My Articuno could take a plus one even hidden power rock if he has it. Otherwise, I could take a plus three hit. Or I can take a plus one Z move, I think, or something. I could take a plus one hidden power rock if he's life orb, by the way. If he was, like, a Z-move, then, then he, yeah, I could literally eat any head. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, this man's scary. It's nothing too scary, but, you know. We definitely have to watch out for that, though. Next, Aloma Mola. This is, um, it's just a very, very bulky, like, hp It's like, it's high up there. Like, it's like a just really it's a super super bulky wish passing mon. Its special defense is bad, so like you could take advantage of that. But its HP is so good that it really doesn't even care. And if he really wanted, he could run calm mind, boost that terrible special defense, and then eat any hit. It does get priority, though, it's not really fair. It's really, if he brings it, it's going to be to wall my Ludicolo. If I bring, like, a choice to Ludicolo, so it could take a Hydra Pump. Um, otherwise, it's just, yeah, it's just there to wish pass and take it from Ludicolo if choice in. Uh, its next one is Deontay. Deontay, regular Deontay, although its HP is lackluster at 50, both of its defenses are 150, which is amazing. Meaning, it could take most hits. Like, unless you're in there with a very powerful steel attack, it's going to take the hit, basically. It's very powerful. Or a high spec soldier if I'm there. But, like, you know what I mean. It's going to take most hits. And uh, it's, if he brings it, which I think he will, I think he's going to bring, like, a Stealth Rock out. I think he's going to bring more of it. It's a good support mon. Regular Deontay, because it's able to take hits, and if he wants to run Trick Room, he can, which he does. It will get to that in a second, or Heal Belly. Even there's a few things he could do with that, of course. Uh, his next mon is Lurantis. So I'm just gonna cut to the chase. He he's I know for a fact he's not bringing the. I mean, I have an Articuno which outspeeds him unless he's like max speed. Ah. Uh, I just, I really don't see him bringing it. But, basically, what it does is it gets Contrary, and it likes Superior, it could spam Leaf Storm, or Superpower, really. That's the main thing you do with Lorantis. I think it also gets Defog, if I'm not, yeah, it does get Defog, but I mean, or Aromatherapy, so it could, yeah, he's not bringing it. This next mod, I know for... I know for a fact he's bringing type no, He's going to bring it literally just so it could take hits. Because if he runs Spadef and HP with EV Light, he could eat hits from my Ludicolo. So, yeah, this it only, I only do like 35%, which is still a lot to a uh, like EV Light. 
super specially defensive time now. But yeah, he needs to bring this as it's really his best way to stop my Ludicolo. Um his next mon or Odom fan, we versed a Rotom last and another Rotom. Um this mon is here it it's a Rotom form, you know, it clicks its stab move, which is air slash, it thunderbolt, it clicks uh Fold uh, Sledge, like, you know what I'm saying? It's a Rotom form. It does the basic Rotom form stuff. It has Hex, obviously, because it's regular Rotom. So it gets a few. It gets some kind of cool coverage, Sucker Punch, but it's nothing special, you know? It gets all of us. It's like every other Rotom form, you know? It's nothing like, oh, this is a great Rotom form. It's one of the worst Rotom. It's probably the worst Rotom form. Because its ability is useless, kind of, unless you have a mold breaker man. Next mon is Espeon. Okay, so um if he does bring Espeon, this uh the problem is I really want to run Adamant Ambipom this week, but the problem is this is one ten speed, so I'm forced to run Jolly Ambipom if I want to speed it. But yeah, this mon more than likely if he brings it is gonna be a combine sweeper. If he can kill my Ambipom, this thing could be a threat with a few combines up because it does get access to recovery in Morning Sun. I do Oko it with a knockoff from Ambipom and I outspeed it, so whether or not he brings it is a little up for debate. Marowak Alola. So this mon is threatening, but I do have rain, so I can't see him bringing like a. I mean, I think he'll bring it, but the problem is, like I said, I do have rain. So, like, if he brings it, all I have to do is, in, like, a trick room, I set up rain, and then I could let my Polyto die, and then I go Ambipom, because Ambipom can take any hit then in the rain, because Shadow Man is immune to. It lives a flare, but... Also, um, Ambipom, again, um, um, this thing is gonna run Thick Club, let's be honest, so it has to be weary of knockoff on Ambipom, so, like, it's not as good of a switch into Ambipom as you might think it would be. And then he has Malamar. Um, let's see, so Malamar does one thing. Um, but it does do good, which is contrary. It runs contrary, um, with superpower. And stat stage raised, it is lowered instead, and vice versa. Interesting. Okay, so anyway, this is the end. So let's face it, this mon just, it has counter, and that's really what it does. Um, it clicks superpower, knockoff, psycho, cut, um, and it just does damage, because of counter, it gets a boost from superpower, and then it, it's definitely a threat, but I do think I have the tools to pretty, handle it pretty easily. This last mon, Mudsdale, with stamina, it's, it, it can be very bulky, it also hits very hard with a 125 base attack, but I don't think he's going to bring it because, you know, I have rain, so I don't really see a reason to bring it. All right, let's get into my team. We have my, obviously, ya boy, Jolly Ambipom, a very similar to set to what I've been bringing, just because it's so good. Life Orb with Technician, Knock Off, Fake Out, Return, Iron Tail. Iron Tail's there for Deontay, return a great coverage, and then knock off to knock off the items and stuff and kill us beyond, and then get rid of that Marox. Thick Club. This thing can easily sweep a team. He doesn't have a good switch into it, and Deontay, which he might think is a switch in, gets O-Code by Iron Tail if it's not f if it's specially defensive. Our next mount is Articuno, a pretty basic set, Ice Beam, Hurricane, Haze, Reese. This is kind of my way to deal with, uh... That Venomoth. I do have 8 speed, which I believe is what all I needed to outspeed a uh, max speed Lurantis. And then this Fizz Def is just there for uh, Malamar, so I could take hits from it. And then, and uh, yeah, this, because I could, and then I could obviously haze the Malamar. But this mainly my Venomoth stopper with haze and Hurricane. Then we got Politoed. Politoed, um,. Very standard set. Drizzle with the Damp Rock, Skull Toxic Haze, Ice Beam. Ice Beam's there for the Lurantis and the Rotom Fan. Skull's there for literally everything else. And then Haze for the Venomoth and Toxic to just Toxic and wear stuff down. A little bit of special attack. Uh, so I could kill the Marak Alola in rain. 
And then we've got the Choice Specs Ludi Color. We've got a basically max HP, 24 speed, so I could outspeed, what was it? In rain, I could outspeed. I think SPN, yeah, it allows me to outspeed, SPN. I think I didn't even have to outspeed to outspeed SPN. But, like, I wanted a low speed just to be safe. You never know. But, um, then mainly HP, so I could take, actually, a lot, a good deal of hits from stuff. And, uh, 252 max plus special attack, so I could just hit things hard. Hydro Pump, Oka's most mons, and then the Lorantis gets to it KO'd. I believe in the rain, although Momola can get to it KO'd. And then the Type Null, hopefully I can knock off its EV light or kill it. This is a pretty fun set. We are running Leftovers, Calm Mind, Cough Agrega. So we are max HP, max defense with foreign special defense. So basically, my goal is to click Calm Mind like two or three times. With my max defense, basically, I can take any hit, basically, and then I just do damage. Like Shadow Ball hits most of his mods, and then I have Energy Ball for Loma Mola and Type Null because obviously Type Null is immune. But this set's actually really good against this team. Because this team has Marowak and Malamar and as, like, the best counters to this set. But, like, I can live a hit from either of them because I'm max HP, max defense. And then we've got, again, very basic Sand Slash with Knockoff, Earthquake, Stealth Rock, Rapid Spin. Uh, a little bit of attack. Uh, the Knockoff is there for Marowak, Alola, uh, Espeon, and, of course, Type Null to get rid of its item. Earthquake, then Tolarak and Rapid Spin. Ba very basic slot. Okay, so yeah, that's our team. The team I predict him to bring. I think he's going to bring Venomoth, Deontay, Type Null, Espeon, Marowak Alola, and Aloma Mola. I think that's who he's going to bring. And let us see what he brings. Oh, wow, we were super wrong. This. <laughs> Yeah, when I well, I wasn't super wrong. I was wrong. I he, he didn't bring the uh, Espeon, so I could have ran out of it. But it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Not the end of the world. Um, so looking at his team though, because of the team he brought, I feel very safe to lead with my Ambipom. Because if he leads Malamar, I do have to switch. But I could even get the Fake Head off. And I doubt he leads with Melmar. If he leads Marek, I'm just clicking knockoff. Getting rid of that item is huge. If you lead Type Null, I'm clicking knockoff. Getting rid of uh, Eevee Light is huge. If he leads Venomoth, I'm clicking Fake Out plus Return. Just Return is enough to kill most of the time. If he's obviously not bulky and who runs max defense like Venomoth. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So I do decide to lead with... My ambi home. As he decides to lead with his D, honestly, sorry. At this point, I'm I'm like, you know what? If you're not max defense, I kill you with an iron tail. I'm just clucking iron tail, you know what? YOLO. If it misses, that would really suck. But it is in my favor. 75% chance, and we connect the iron tail. And that is massive. Because that means we do not have to deal with Deontay for the whole game, basically. Um, meaning no rocks, I believe, because I'm guessing that's his rocker. Uh, no cleric, nothing. We are in a great position because of that. And he still doesn't have a great switch into the Sambi Bomb. Because if I have U-turn, he doesn't want to switch in the Malmar. That thing gets so good. And he, as he switches in his Venomar, at this point I'm like... Why are you giving me this? Like, I'm okay with it, but I'm I'm really honestly shocked. I just decide I'm going to stay in and kill this thing with a return, honestly. And as I click return, it does 69%. And I'm like, what? Because, okay, so this reveals that he is actually max HP, max defense. Which I just, I'm like, why though? Like, I mean, I get it to take hit, but I'm just, it uh, to me, it's really weird. I don't know. I mean, it's a cool side, I guess, to take a hit from Ambi Bomb. But, and he clicks Quiver Dance, which I'm like, okay, you're not really scary to me because I have Articuno, and I doubt your life orb now either, meaning you can't really do too much. Like, look, that does 36%, which 
just a good chunk, I guess. But I could just haze him at this point. So I he clicks rears. I do decide to just go for the haze. And I just click Hurricane right here because that Oko's him. Rotom, I doubt you you want to switch in. Malamar's going to take a good chunk. I'm guessing he'll switch in Time Null, but he might fear the Toxic. And if he brings in the uh, Merrick Lola, it's taking a big hit from uh, Hurricane, unless he's especially defensive. If he does bring in the Merrick Lola. But, unfortunately, we do miss, which is fair, which is fair. I mean, I connected the uh, other thing, but even though that was technically... In my favor to connect. Both are in my favor to connect. But, you know, it's fair. As he clicks SD. But I'm looking at it. And he's maxed to his own speed. I'm... I believe... Sorry, I'm actually going to check. I'm going to show down. He's... Yeah, so I have... With no speed, 176. I do not think he's max speed. So I say, you know what? I'm going to say, and I could lose my Polytoad right here. I could also Oko's a little Merrick. If I lose Polytoad, I just go into Ludicolo, click Hydro Pump. Otherwise, or Price Surf, but otherwise, I just kill this thing right now. So I decide to click Scald, which will Oko him. And he stays in, and we Oko him, because I have to beat him, which is huge, honestly. Um, And now, he decides to go into Venomoth. And because I have Haze, I'm able to just stay in and click Scald. Pretty freely. This will actually, even at plus one, do like about 50%. The does 38% because he's bulky. I, yeah, so yeah, I forgot he was bulky. Yeah. Uh, he clicks it, does 33%. I'm actually just able to haze him. And now, another Scald is going to actually take him out. So he is forced to go into Melamar, which this Scald does 47%. We do get the burn, which sucks, but it is Scald, you know. I mean. I clicked, what, two scalds? I got a burn. I mean, well, technically, I clicked three scalds, even though the first one, I technically didn't have the chance to get a burn. So, technically, the odds were in my favor. Not in my favor, you know what I mean? So, like, it's not. It's hacks, but, like, I don't think I got, like, super lucky. Also, he lived that, so I got a low roll at that um, time. I think the 47 was about a mid roll, depending on his spread. So, yeah. But, yeah. So, he goes over there, doesn't do it. I said, oof, sorry for the burn, even though, you know, I don't think it was, like, the end of the world. As he goes into Rotom, and I know I can't take a hit that well, so I decide to go into Kofag to see what he does. He goes Type Nolan. Right now, I'm thinking, okay, if you're physical, I eat a hit. If you're special, which I don't know if you would be, but you might be, I can click on mine and then start taking your hits pretty well. So, I decide to just click Calm mind in this. Actually, no. I decided to click sub first. I um because I want to know. As he clicks us in, I'm like, okay, this could be a problem. This could could definitely be a problem. But I still have you know my Ludicolo. Yeah, I have Hayes on you too. You know I'm not that scared. And then he reveals flame charge, and I'm like, oh no, is that that could be a problem? That could definitely be a problem. So at this point, I'm like, okay, um, this isn't the greatest position. But, you know, there's hope, there's hope. It's not the end of the world. At this point, he clicks Flame Charge, and I realize, oh, it only does 13%. Okay, so actually, it's not actually, like, even at plus two, like, he's not doing enough to me, nearly enough. So I'm in a good position, because I was on my left, Eve. So I'm just able to really chip down his mon. At this point, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to, you don't get reliable recovery, so I'm just able to chip you down. I do get a spadef drop. Sucks, but again, I'm clicking energy ball a bunch, you know, it's bound to happen, you know, one, two, three, four. If so, four times, you know, so far. So, like, bound to happen, because energy ball has, what, uh, 20%? No, 10%, but it's bound to happen, you know what I'm saying? Like, eventually, like, if you're doing something like that. As he reveals rest, which I'm like, okay, you know what, I'm just going to start clicking Combine. I don't think he fit sleep talk on this. Actually, we know he didn't fit sleep talk, because now we've seen his whole thing. Move set. So I'm able to actually just Combine in his face pretty easily as I click. So now I'm plus two, plus two. He can't really touch me with any of his last three months. So I'm feeling pretty good. At this point, he clicks Flame Charge. 
if we are able to eat it up, and I click energy ball, it does 33% because he has minus special defense, and we are plus two. If he decides to go into his Rotom, we click energy ball, which this damage is actually pretty big because it guarantees him, I'm pretty sure, to die to a return, basically. Even if he has HP, I'm pretty sure he basically is now guaranteed to die. So I click another combine, one to see what he does. Because I'm like, and at this point, I'm like, you know what? You're probably going to go back into that type null, but I'm okay with just clicking Shadow Ball. Okay, he does go type null, which he's immune, and he clicks rest. But I'm able to now just click Energy Ball at this point, which does 27% as I'm taking Toxic Damage. Okay, he clicks rest as I click Energy Ball again. You know, I just am whittling him down, and I know that he has one, he's asleep this next turn, and I'm going to die. So I'm able to click Energy Ball one more time, right? Get him down to 17%. So now he's at 17%. And I'm able to just go into my Ambipom, which Venomoth is half 43 dies to a return. You die to a return. And uh, Rotom Fan dies to a return at this point. So I just decide, okay, I'm going to click return. Blah, blah. It actually lives it, revealing it is definitely bulky. Which I was like, okay, right. I was hoping you weren't. But we know he's left Eves, so we could outspeed him easily. At this point, Venomoth cannot outspeed me because we know it's not Scarf or anything. And we saw from the damage earlier that it will die. And at this point, that is GG to my man Lou. Ah, uh, we are now, well, yeah, I mean, you're going to say, I mean, he says, yeah. Uh, so we won. That was a good win, I think. I think we played well. I think we had good prep. Um, GG, I think he played well. I think he played well. I think we just prepped very well. I think I had some cool prep. I think, uh, I do think his type no is actually a cool set. And I think had I not brought the Kofag set I brought, it could have potentially been very scary. Actually, had I not brought that Kofag set, I think I probably... Probably could have lost to that set. So, you know, um, yeah. <laughs> it depends what things would have happened, but... Yeah, so GG, um... We are now 4-0, which is huge. We're actually tied, I believe, for first place in the league with Savage King. Is that his name? Something like that. Uh, hopefully next week we can pick up another kill. I believe we're against Thriller, which is a game I'm not excited for. Not be I'm going to explain it next week. I hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, my puffer people, stay puffed.